Oh, what a matchup we have on the way after falling in the 8X Grand Prix semifinals last night. Matt Cross and Darby Allen set to team up to take on Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Red Dragon in action next. And well, if you believe the rumors, this could be one of the last times we see them. I'm a lonely freak. Some would say he carries with him what is not perhaps a nihilistic outlook on life. You kind of flip that around a little bit. One of his tattoos says, nothing's over until you're underground. A complex figure. You think about this young man's background, former professional skateboarder. He used to live in an abandoned warehouse. You can trace all of this personality, I guess, to when he was younger, his uncle was intoxicated, was killed in a car crash. Darby survived that crash. It set him on a very unique path to where he is today, where he's more than willing to use his body, not only as a weapon, but with little regard for the consequences. Grand Prix defeated King Cash. It fell last night to Shane Strickland in the semifinals. Darby Allen, meanwhile, lost to Davey Richards in the semifinals last night at Tacoma. And defeated Mike Santiago back in the first round of the tournament. These two may have more in common than it seems. Both of them straight edge, both of them in the metal with the punk. Both with similar high-flying styles. On the surface, it would seem like Matt Croft maybe a little bit more of a, a positive outlook on life, but you see the show of solidarity right there, bumping fists before this tag team battle. Bobby Fish, 
man last night in Tacoma. Matt Cross, Darby Allen, both of the semifinals of the 8X Grand Prix. Darby falling to Davey Richards and Cross to Shane Strickland. And you can see Kyle O'Reilly trying to loosen up Bobby Fish, who's going to start the matchup. Fish falling in a triple threat match last night. He, along with Cash, battled Davey Boy Smith Jr. And Smith coming out victorious. So we're underway. Matt Cross and Bobby Fish getting things started. Immediately, Fish with the wrist lock quickly reversed by Cross. And Fish just trying to ground Cross. See, so many different styles in this matchup. You, you could see high flying, you could see technical grappling. Submission style wrestling. I mean, these guys can do it all. Bobby Fish. Cross with a leapfrog. Comes down into a series of forearm smashes. Reversal. But Fish grabbed the ropes to put the brakes on. Cross with the hip tosses. Handspring hip attack. Cross body off the ropes, cover, kick out of two. Darby Allen makes the tag. Fish able to back off. sure what to make of Darby Allen. Tag was made to Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle seems a little unsure of himself. Or maybe not. Ready to the headlock. Allen back to his feet. Shoot O'Reilly into the ropes. Nice adjustment by Kyle. Again, Darby to his feet. This time, able to shoot him off, and O'Reilly answers with a big boot. And another. One more time. The leapfrog by Allen. So frenetic in the ring. Rolls through, cover. Spring up the front body. Two count, and O'Reilly stays alive. What action. Tag made to cross. Referee in to keep Bobby Fish on his side of the ring. And Cross lays in a big chop. Whip. Cross runs right into a boot. O'Reilly, oh! Cross with a backbreaker. Cover. O'Reilly out of two. Quick tags here between Allen and Cross. And these two look like they've been tagging together for years. Allen with a shot right to the gut. O'Reilly answers with a forearm. One more. Ooh, kick right to the sternum. Darby Allen pops up with a huge drop kick. Sending O'Reilly to the outside. Here comes Fish and Cross. Cross with a drop kick. Fish 
pushing O'Reilly out of the way. You can see O'Reilly calling for time. with the count. Well, this all may be just part of a plan by both O'Reilly and Fish to try and dictate the pace of this match. strength. Trying to get some feeling back in his left arm. O'Reilly twisting and turning the arm of Darby Allen, and oh, could have broken it right there. Side suplex into a heel hook. And Allen rolling, desperately reaching out, grabs hold of the bottom rope. Referee forced to break the hold. Fantastic ring awareness by the youngster Darby Allen. By far the least experienced of all four competitors in this ring. But perhaps almost the most unpredictable. Bobby Fish slingshots in and out of the ring. Launching himself shoulder first. Cover and a kick out. And out of frustration, clocks back cross with a double axe handle. Look at the momentum Fish has off the slingshot. 
and driving the shoulder right into the sternum of Darby Allen. Darby doing his best to fight through it. O'Reilly with a kick to the hamstring. Knee to the gut, series of kicks, now sweeps the legs. Matt Cross shouting out encouragement for his tag team partner. O'Reilly plants him with a slam, quick tag to Fish. Another quick tag. O'Reilly planting Allen. Every time they've slammed Allen, he's ended up closer to his own corner. Fish changing the trajectory of the slams. O'Reilly with another being abused. Quick tags in and out. Can Darby even continue? Referee needs to get in there and check. Steps over the 
to his feet. Knew what was coming. And now suddenly Cross finding himself in danger. He was thinking about ending this match. And Fish, sensing his predicament. Now battling with Cross. Both of them dangerously. Balancing on the ropes. Down goes Bobby Fish. And Matt Cross. Locking in the target. Fish out of the way. Uh oh, Samoa drop. Shifting back and forth. Fish makes the tag to O'Reilly. Cross tags it to Tommy Allen. What can either of these guys have left? Here it kicks to the hamstring. And Allen hobbled, but wait a minute.
Dragon. Pushed to the limit by Darby Allen. And that cross. And if this is the last we see of this duo, He's having trouble even just getting out of the ring. Matt Cross finally back to his feet. They know the one that they've just been through. And if there wasn't already respect between Cross and Allen, there's going to be tons of it now. I mean, Darby Allen took a tremendous, tremendous beating. What a battle here tonight at the Five Five. Red Dragon with the victory, but oh, what an effort by Cross and Allen.